hi guys welcome back to the channel in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to enable and disable windows 10 system administrator account basically a windows user used to log in as administrator in windows 10 using their user administrator account but this administrator account is not the system administrator account the actual system administrator account is by default set as disabled in windows 10 for safety purpose and this is highly recommended for general windows account users However, in some cases, if you will need the actual system administrator privileges to run a program or modify something in your system, then this video will help to solve your problem. So let's take a closer look at the procedure. At first run Windows PowerShell as administrator. Now type the command net user administrator forward slash active colon yes and press enter. After that you should see the message the command completed successfully. Now check once by going to manage another account option. Ok as you can see our system administrator account is successfully enabled. Now set a strong password for this account because this is highly recommended to secure the system administrator account. If you face any kind of blocking issues during device driver installation, software installation or running a program or change something from your user administrator account, then just sign out your user administrator account and go to the login screen. Then you will see the system administrator account on the login screen. After that just select the system administrator account and enter the password to login as administrator. Now you can run your program or modify something in your system without any blocking issues in your Windows 10 computer. And before changing any settings in this administrator account, make sure to turning on the system protection by going to the advanced system settings. However, now let me show you how you can disable this administrator account. At first sign out from system administrator account and go to the login screen. After that, select your user administrator account and enter the password to login. Now run the Windows PowerShell as administrator. Type the command net user administrator forward slash active colon no and press enter. Now you can check once by going to manage another account option or you can sign out your user administrator account. And go to the login screen to see the system administrator account successfully disabled or not. Okay, as you can see now our system administrator account is successfully disabled. So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. If you have any questions then please let me know in the comment section. Please like, comment and share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you thanks for watching have a nice day